Good morning everyone, welcome to this new video. Uh, this morning, after again another moment of absence, uh, the product I, try, I want to review it's something I bought maybe a month ago, month, month and a half ago. Uh, it's the new cream from Gillette Pure. It's uh, actually a very interesting product. Uh, anyway, we're going to discuss that today. The brush I'm going to use, it's a brand new brush to me. It's the brush Battleship by Colonel Conk. Synthetic 25mm. Uh, the knot, it's not a plus soft. Uh, it's still a bit, okay, it, it, has the, it has the profile of a tuxedo knot, but it's white. Very soft. Fair amount of backbone on it. I like that. Well, fair amount. Maybe not as much as a tuxedo. A little bit softer. The razor I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my carve razor and in it is the new G plate that I received a little bit more than a week ago. Uh, it's not gonna be a full review on the plate itself. I want to try it a little more before I have a final 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 word on it. Blade it's gonna be Gillette Nasset uh, on its second use. With that, I'll go with the face, with the brush, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, just take the brush, dip that in the sink. There you go. It's wet. I'm going to take some of the pure. There we go. Okay, that's what I got. And I'm just going to put it right inside the knot. Compress the knot a little bit, spread it around. And go for it. Okay, the scent on that. <clears throat> scent slightly orangey with a hint of mint. It's not super strong. It's a four, maybe a five. This cream, uh, there is zero, oh, Gillette call it, call it uh, pure, there's zero alcohol, zero colorant, zero parabens, zero sulfates. The ingredient list itself for a commercial cream is fairly clean, okay, it's not, it does have it does have preservatives in it, maybe not as much as any other commercial any other commercial cream. There we go. Okay, first pass with the grain. Yeah, the the ingredient list is fairly clean. You're gonna sit after the first pass. Nowhere as clean as artisan product, but it's still clean. To build a ladder with this cream, you don't need to build a ladder with this cream. You don't need a lot of water in your brush. Uh, you saw. I dipped it, I ringed it, it there, there wasn't much water left in that brush and it gives me a nice and comp, it's nice and, the, the leather is nice and compact. It could have taken a little bit more water but 
as I'm gonna go along in the shave, I'm gonna add water to my face. I'm gonna hydrate. I'm gonna hydrate the uh, the ladder more and more. That's something I realize when you put too much water in this cream, in this cream, the ladder the ladder becomes unstable. and it dissipates. Even if it dissipates though, it still remains pretty slick. Like right now, okay, there's a good, there's a really good slickness left behind. Uh, but it's still on the, a little bit on the dry side now. Again, it's one of There you go, first pass. Done. The razor, the razor is way more efficient. Okay, the Caravan G blade is fairly efficient. Um, really nice. It's close. Um, the cream is doing its work. Okay, it's it gives a great glide. It's very protective, and uh, it's pleasing to use. Uh, I'm actually surprised for a Gillette product. Uh, it's a good performer. I'm gonna go rinse the face, be right back for pass number two. Okay, second application. Now, I know last week uh, Red Island Shaver did a video on the same on the same cream. Uh, just happened to be it was on my list to come back with that. But I also when the day the day did the the French I recorded the French video. Uh, one of my subscriber Peter uh, wrote to me about this cream that he went and found that and at Walmart price really good okay, it's five dollars for the tube myself I got it on special it was four dollar now we're talking Canadian and he came up pretty much the same conclusion than I was it's a very surprising product for Gillette again okay like you can see now the the hydration level is much better on the second pass. It's pretty shiny, it's thick. It's a really nice ladder now. Second pass across the grain. Every everybody that I've seen using it in shave of the days, or everybody's pleased with this cream. On the tube itself, Gillette Rock. Gillette say you can go with a brush or without a brush. I haven't tried to ladder it in my hands only and just put it, apply it to my face. But with a brush, Really nice ladder, okay. Doesn't take a lot, doesn't take a lot of water. It's easy to ladder. And the only thing I can say about this cream, the on, the biggest problem, it's when, like I said, when it's too wet, 
the latter dissipates easily or not easily fast. The residual slickness on that on my face right now it's <clears throat> it's really good okay it's that's what I would expect from a, a top tier soap for the residual slickness okay there we go done second pass it's closed okay the razor works very well uh, the cream really nice really 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 nice uh, by the way there's there's a small amount of menthol in it it's not it's not huge it's not a big kick uh, it takes kind of a slow it, it's the menthol is kind of slow to appear or on face feel <laughs> It's a nice cream. <laughs> uh, it, it's hard to. I, I don't. I, I don't like to give <laughs> Gillette too much credit nowadays, but I, I got to say, with this cream, they kind of hit the mark. Uh, they did a really, really, really nice job. Uh, their innovations nowadays are probably not in the razors. It, it's probably this cream. This cream is probably the best product that came out of Gillette in the last few years and not a razor. Anyway, go rinse the face. I'll be back for pass number three. Okay, third application. Yeah, by the way, I've been busy. Uh, <clears throat> after a big shave. Well, at Big Shave, I was there with my friend Faslad, the French YouTuber. We did a few interviews there with artisans. I'm just, I'm working at translating the whole thing right now. Uh, it's taking way more, it, it's taking a lot of time. Plus, as you see this video, I'm, I'm on route for Maggard. Uh, I'm gonna be lucky this year. From Big Shave to Maggard, big meetups. And the weekend after, I have a meetup in Montreal with. Uh, Some some of them will be subscribers. Some of them will be friends on. We're friends on uh, Canadian wet shavers, plus another French group I'm part of. There you go. Okay. So. Again, okay, it's pretty decent. Uh, third pass against the grain. What I'm happy to see about this cream, it's a, it's actually not a gimmick. Okay, it's a good solid product. It's for sale at a cheap price in a place like Walmart. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere else, and I don't know if it's on sale in Europe. I don't know if there's any plans to sell it in Europe. But it's nice, it's nice to see that the wet shaving community um, is making a dent, I think, in Judd's profit. That's why they come out with product like this. But it's also going to be a great uh, level entry product for somebody that haven't discovered wet shaving yet. Yeah, I don't know if you can see like my chin there. See, the ladder is not as stable now. Okay, it, it's at that point where it's overhydrated. 
but it works. That's really my biggest uh, can't say it's my biggest complaint. It's just it's not that great with at handling a lot of water. But still does the job. Okay, we're done. Uh, from experience, I know there won't be any irritation. Okay, I've been I've been using the cream and the G plate for a couple of well, for a week, week and a half now, and I know there's going to be no irritation. Uh, the 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 cream does a really nice job protecting the skin. Uh, so it is. I'm going to go rinse the face and I'll come back for the conclusion. Okay? Give me a minute. Okay. The aftershave I'm going to use today is fine lavender for men. Now, for the people that look at the French video, I didn't use an aftershave. Okay? I use, I just use a no toilet right after. With this cream, one of the best part of it, it's uh, the poche feel. The skin conditioning properties of this cream are actually really, really, really good. Um, somebody who has a sensitive skin, it would be a really nice product for that. It conditions the skin very well. It's protective. There's not there's there's not a lot of there's not a lot of perfume in it. It's scented, but it's not super strong. The mantle is there. It's not super strong, and the skin conditioning properties of the cream itself are really really good. Uh, you don't I when I use that I don't really need a pole shave pro, pole shave product after. Um, I really like it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. It's Gillette stuff, but yeah, okay. They came up with they come up with a good product for wines. <laughs> uh, again, the cream I used today, pure by Gillette. Uh, it's kind of one of their newer offering that you can see in a place like Walmart. Okay, at the supermarket, things like that. The brush from Colonel Kong. Okay, Battleship. 25 knot, a 25 mil knot synthetic. It's a really nice, really nice brush. Like that. The razor. Again. Carve razor on the G plate. I'm I'm really digging this plate. Uh, it's quite efficient. And there is there is a bleed feel. There's more bleed feel on it. It still remains fairly comfortable for the amount of efficiency there is in this blade. And with the blade feel, it's really easy. Okay, to figure out the angle you need to go at. I I like the G plate. With this, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will be back. Uh, maybe not next weekend because there is there is all kind of stuff happening. I'll try to come up. I'll try to come up with another video if I can uh, after um, <laughs> after the Maggard meetup. Uh, with this, I wish you guys beautiful week, beautiful shaves, and I hope to see you. Uh, I hope in. Uh, in a few weeks with another shaving review. With this, have a great week and see you soon. Bye bye.